thing you hate. The little black boy with no swag, you wore his shoes without no lease. But now I'm getting pee and getting fiends. So you can keep your feet. I Por puta, ah, qué chingado. Ah, ¡Ay, ah, qué rico! Ah, ¡Ay! Ah, 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 John, excuse me. Oh, oh, Oye, mamita, oh, cuando te vea la próxima vez que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa. 
The girl from Campo Morada? Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother... Your luck with it with turning her grave. Interesting. Mm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother. I huh? guess the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, John. Today, we will both have victories. Bien, vamos hermanos. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet, John, after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. It must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I'll see you in there, amigo. Come on. Remember to jump, my friend. my brother we will be right behind you
Time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> 
So now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I ain't the judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? If you left me to die, whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You don't have the heart to kill me. Sorry, Parker. to your farm, John! Give it up, Javier! I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with Agenda. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Now you're coming with me. 
Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought she was a creep. Come on. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. I understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Come on! It was Beal, not me. Yeah, and he's next. So you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell! Static fool! Put him in the cell for now, John. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. No burles, idiota! Dígame! Dutch never liked you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say, this ain't been a social call. It's just business. Oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> we have to hold the fort, John. Use one of the cannons. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, 
Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs>